okay, we're in a transaction and you want to see your default information. So you can go to defaults and settings right here. It's this little button here. If you click over here, it's going to be your field groups. If you click on this one over here, you're going to be able to manage your fields and get to your default. So let's go to default. Um, I'm on an Arizona time zone on this one. Uh, I have my date calculations as calendar days. I'm going to count federal holidays. Um, the weekend roll, uh, that's going to roll everything back if it lands on a Sunday to Friday or Saturday. Um, same thing with the federal holiday. You can roll back, roll forward, weekend, roll back, roll forward. Um, I typically don't set these on the uh, transaction. I usually set these on like emails that are going out. So if my email is going to my lender, my escrow agent, I may roll it back to a Friday so that they get it not on the weekend. Um, you get your default texting number. You can change those if you want. You have a default send from email. You have um, your email signature. So I can set this as Peter. Um, I can set the details tab. Um, so this is always gonna come up with my fields under my details tab first, and then I can switch it from there. Uh, this is gonna get, uh, every time you open up the transaction, it's gonna go to your task menu first. So you can set that for emails, documents, contacts. So you can select these to come up first. So in this case, let's just make a task. Uh, you're also going to have your property date sync. So you're going to choose your calendar where you want it to go. Um, you can uh, remove or you can come down here to date template. Uh, the date template, uh, you can create date templates in here to calculate dates. So if it's, uh, you know, this date is three days before close of escrow every single time. Uh, this date's 10 days after acceptance every single time. You can go ahead and set those up so that it automatically calculates as this transaction comes in. So let's go ahead and say date template. And it's going to tell me what's going to happen here. So uh, earnest money is due in two days. Inspection is due in 10 days after contract acceptance. Additional earnest money is due 12 days after contract acceptance. So, um, you know, you can have as many of these as you like in your, in your template, update dates, and now they're all going to update in there. And then you have some dot loop information if you're pulling in loops as well. So that is the default um, and settings.